This is what happens when you film at a Comic Con. You got noise, you got people, you got crowds. It's loud. It's the hardest thing to explain, but it's the easiest thing to understand. The show. This is us. You know. It's of course you're. You understand that there are four different storylines. One character in each storyline is celebrating their 36th birthday. Um, by the end of the series, you find out that they're connected more than just their birthdays. But it's it's a heartfelt show. It's like deeply human, but you will laugh your face off, and and you're gonna cry. You know, it's 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 a human story. I think that's something that we need on network television nowadays. You know, which which very much is is steeped in. You, know, you got to have superheroes. Got to have a scandal. Got to have crime. Got to have bad, bad, bad. This isn't bad. This is just human. This is people dealing with regular people stuff. It's very relative. It's it's very inclusive. I think. You know, it it's a show that you know. There, there's, there's no boundaries between age and race and gender and, and preference or anything. It's like this is a show for everyone. And I, I think that's what I'm most excited about is it's going to hit a large audience, a community of human beings and people as opposed to just, oh, if you like aliens, you're going to love this show. Uh, were you surprised by the pilot script? I like, was. I was surprised watching it. Yeah, I mean, I, I had no idea what was going to happen at the ending. And when it did, I went... Holy shit. And I leaned back in my chair and I thought about it, and then I flipped the final pages, and then I went right back to page one. And I reread it again back to back. And I was clues or something, but also just like I, I really I fell in love with the story and, and this reveal at the end and, and who these people are and how they how they connect with one another and and it was just something for me that I really, really I wanted to know deeper. I wanted to know what wanted to know more, you know, and it's, it's, it was one of those stories to me that felt uh, infinite, you know, there, there's so many different stories we tell, you know, in, in the arena of life, and it's, you know, as an, as an actor, at times it's hard to kind of show your own creative force when you've got people that are kind of manipulating you like a puppet, and they want you to do what you are, yeah, yeah, you are just, you know, adamantly against. And it's just chewing up his soul. And that's, you know, I, I think Justin's got a great storyline as Kevin. As an actor, he's incredibly successful, very well paid, but he's so unhappy because what the work he's doing is soul-sucking. And we've all been there before, we're doing soul-sucking work. Everybody has been there. And that's the thing that I loved about it. It wasn't just about an actor. It's about that soul-sucking work that we do. How do you, how do you inspire yourself again? You know, Chrissy Metz's character. You know, she's like dealing with something that is her everyday life, you know, with her weight. And it's like everything she does in life relates to that, you know. And then there's Sterling K. Brown's character and, and reuniting with a, with a father that abandoned him. I mean, just the psychology behind that. When he had a great set of parents that raised him to be a successful man, you know. So, you know what? I, I'll talk about my ass as long as people want to talk about my ass. I have no problems talking about my ass. I thank uh, Jason Walsh, my trainer. Um, he's giving me a very good ass. <laughs> but um, you know, I, I get it. You know, I, I think it's you know whether people say you know it's unexpected. I think at the end of the day, it's like again, it's human. We all have them. We all we all we all have moments where you know we are completely uh, a bear and and it's life. It's just all part of life, you know. Um, you were surprised by that. I was. I mean, I thought NBC. I thought there's no way when I showed up for work and I saw you know the limited amount of just cloth <laughs> with tape to cover myself with. I thought there's no, there's no way, man. There's just no way they're gonna make me do, it. you know. And but like I'm perfectly comfortable with myself. It's fine. I, if you've seen any of my movies in the past, independent films, like you've seen a lot of me before. Um, but I. Uh, I was surprised when my ass preceded my face in the trailer. I sort of backed into that story. I know, I, did, I, I backed right into it. <laughs>